In our next lesson on aqueous chemistry from Chapter 2, we want to look briefly at polyprotic acids and determining the protonation state. Polyprotic acids ionize more than once and have multiple pKs. In other words, there are acids that have more than one proton to donate. One of the most common in biological systems is phosphoric acid. It is the buffer system used in mo within most cells. We start with the most acidic form, phosphoric acid, H3PO4. As you can see, it's a triprotic acid. It has three protons to donate, and each one of those has an associated pK value. As phosphoric acid donates the first proton, it becomes monobasic, H2PO4 minus. That is its basic by one proton, and that has associated with it pK1 of 2.15. As it donates that second proton, it becomes dibasic, HPO4 2 minus, and that has pK2 of 6.82. As it donates that last proton, it becomes tribasic, PO4 3 minus, and that pK3 is 12.38. Let's see how that relates to the equilibrium at the bottom of the slide here. The most acidic form, H3PO4, as the pH reaches pK1, 2.15, we have half in the form of phosphoric acid and half in the monobasic form, H2PO4 minus. As the pH rises above pK1, we have more in the monobasic form. In this case, in this equilibrium, our acidic form is H3PO4 and its conjugate base is H2PO4 minus. As pH increases to pK2, that is 6.82, then half is in the monobasic and half in the dibasic form. In this pair, our acid form is H2PO4 minus and its conjugate base is HPO4 2 minus. As we start to increase the pH above pK2, we're beginning to donate that third proton. And as the pH reaches pK3, that is 12.38, it's half in the dibasic form and half in the tribasic form. In this pair, our acid would be HPO4 2 minus, and its conjugate base is PO4 3 minus. And of course, as we increase the pH above pK3, it's more in the tribasic form. The internal pH for most biological systems is around 7, so you can see under those conditions there's almost no form of the buffer in the phosphoric acid form. pK1 is so low it will readily dissociate. We can see also that the pK3 being so high there's almost none in the tribasic form. So at a pH around 7, the phosphate is mostly in the monobasic and dibasic forms. You'll want to keep these general principles in mind of dealing with polyprotic acids, what the individual pK values tell us, and which forms would predominate under different conditions. Let's look at a general rule that will tell us whether or not a group is more or less protonated. Remember the general principle, if pH is equal to pK, we know that the acid and conjugate base forms are equal. That is, the group is one-half protonated, half protonated, half unprotonated. What about if the pH is less than pK? Let's rearrange that henderson hasselbalch equation and put the pK value on the left of the equation. So now our expression is pH minus pK, is equal to the log of the ratio of the conjugate base to the acid. So you can see with this expression, if pH is less than pK, the value on the left of our equation becomes negative. To take the log of a number to get a negative value, that number must be less than 1. This tells us that the ratio of the conjugate base to the acid must be less than 1, and therefore that the concentration of the acid is greater than that of the base. In other words, the group has more protons, it's more protonated. So here's our general rule. If pH is less than the pK of the group, the group is more protonated. Well, if this is true, then the opposite must also be true. That is, if pH is larger than pK, the group is less protonated. Let's see how that works. 
If pH is larger than pK, then the value on the left of our expression becomes positive, and that means we're taking the log of a number greater than 1, which means in this case that the concentration of the conjugate base is larger than that of the concentration of the acid. In other words, the group is more deprotonated. So here's our general rule. If pH equals pK, it's half protonated. If pH is less than pK, it's more protonated. If pH is larger than pK, it's more deprotonated. You really only need to remember one of these two. If you just remember that pH, when pH is less than pK, it's more protonated, the opposite must also be true. Now as to whether or not that adds or neutralizes a charge, that depends on the group. For instance, if it's a carboxylic acid group and it's more protonated, then it has a neutral charge. However, it's, if it's an amine group and it's more protonated, it has a positive charge. So just keep these general rules in mind. In our next video lesson, we want to use the henderson hasselbalch equation and relate that to the buffer systems that occur in aqueous environments. We find that buffers are very important in biological systems and we want to get a better idea of how they work.